These are devotions for people at a social distance. One of my favorite Old Testament poets, and he's absolutely a poet, is the prophet Amos. And today I was reading in the third chapter of the book of Amos, and uh, these lines really struck me as something that speaks to where we are today. Uh, starting verse 3, do two walk together unless they've made an appointment? Does a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey? Does a young lion cry out from its den if it has caught nothing? Now, in many ways, I think that this is uh, this gives us a, an insight into the very mind of the prophet. The, the prophet is looking around at the things that are going on in the world, and he sees two people walking together, walking and talking. And he says, you know, if they're walking together, maybe there's a conspiracy going on. Maybe they are hatching a plan to do something. If there is signs of violence, well, you know, like the lion roaring, Maybe there's something going on deeper than just what you are reacting to in the moment. So, looking around at the world, the prophet sees things happening and decides, well, these are not just things that are happening. These are not just random events. There is something going on. And he says, and of course, he lead, leads him to the conclusion, has uh, the Lord has spoken, who can but prophesy? Who can but prophesy? Uh, surely the Lord does nothing without revealing his secrets to, to his servants, the prophets. So, you know, looking around the world, observing the happenings in the world and saying, whoa, God is at work. God is doing something. That is how the mind of the prophet works. And as you see today, some of the things that are going on. You know, uh, the plots are that are being put in place. Uh, I, I'm obviously struck today by what's going on in the United States as as people react and, and the, the people who are coming together to push their particular agenda in in a du duplicitous way. Disturbing, disturbing. Uh, but this is not just a random event. This is there are things going on. There are deeper things. Uh, if someone is acting like an authoritarian, if someone is saying, let's disregard democracy, well, this is not just a random event. <laughs> this person is an authoritarian. This person is not interested in democracy, and someone is trying to destroy democracy. It's not just, let's not just react to the surface events, to the things that are going on. Let's be aware that there are deeper things going on. And yet also, Amos would say very clearly, he's, he's looking at a disaster in his time. The disaster that he sees coming is that Assyria is going to come and is going to destroy his nation, the nation of Israel. And yet he says, even here, God is alive, God is at work. Yes, disturbing things are going on. And yes, people are making plans. People are walking together, making plans that are leading to bad things people are trying to take authoritarian power which will lead to bad uh, bad results and yet god is alive god is at work that is how the mind of a prophet works that's how our minds need to work too yes look at what's going on pay attention to what's happening be willing to look deeper and see yeah this is <laughs> indeed what is going on there's more going on the the lion is hunting uh, the the people walking together are plotting something be vigilant but trust in the lord lord our god as as we see disturbing events let us not be afraid to look beyond to see the power the depths behind what's going on let us not be afraid to act for what we know is right and just and true and above all let us not lose our trust in you the lord of all the earth. Amen.